if we are talking about dividing like bases, part two, we have talked about just dividing like bases where we subtract our exponents. So now we are going to divide like bases for part two. This is going to go in your journal. I just got a sheet of paper folded in half, hamburger style, so I have plenty of room on the inside. Okay, so we are going to start with looking at 2 divided by 2 times 2 times 2. So let's think about how to simplify this. What do y'all think? How do you simplify this? 2 over mm -hmm. 2 to the exponent of 3. Okay. And we have a 1 here. Oh, that's another way. So let's do 2 times 2 times 2. We're going to leave it just like that for now. 2 over what's 2 times 2 times 2 more. So that's two fourths, I mean two eighths, which what does that simplify to? One fourth. So we're just going to think about it that way right now. We're going to come back to this though. So let's just look at it this way for now. Okay, the next one is going to be three squared over three cubed. Let's think about the expanded way for now, then we'll come back to it. What is three squared? Three times three is what? Nine. What is three times three times three? Three cubed. 27. Okay, can we simplify that? Oh, I should have simplified it all the way, right? But that still works, one third. Okay, so each one of these, so if we look back at this, so let's relate this, the two, the three, and we get one third. So let's use that three squared over three cubed. And let's use our rule that we came up with on uh, the previous lesson. We would just subtract our exponents. So this would be three and then two minus three. <clears throat> What do you get whenever you do 2 minus 3? <coughs> Positive or negative, though? Negative. negative 1. Which, according to this, these are equal. So how does that work? Okay, so let's look back up at this one. It was, it's 2 to the first over 2 cubed, which means we're going to subtract our exponents. 2 to the 3 minus 1. Which, what is that equal? Did I do this wrong? I sure did. I did it wrong. What should it have been? 1 minus 3. That still looks bad. Okay, what is 1 minus 3? Negative 2. So it's 2 to the negative 2. Which, this is supposed to equal 1 fourth. So how does that work? 
What do y'all think? What do you mean backwards? Of dividing. Okay, think about dividing. Because what do we have special here? A negative in our exponent. Let's check and make sure that actually works. So let's look. 2 raised to the negative 2. 0.25. I'm going to hit math. Fraction. 1 fourth. What is 2 to the second power? What's 2 squared? <laughs> 4. Four. But 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4. Hmm. What do y'all think about that? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. All right. What about this is 1 third, and it's 3 to the first power. So 3 to the negative 1. So 3 to the first power is just 3. But 3 to the negative 1 power is 1 over 3. So do you see the pattern here? The pattern is that anytime you do a negative exponent, to make it a positive exponent, you switch the location of that base and change the exponent to positive. Okay, so let's say I have um, 4 to the negative 1. Using what we just learned, what is 4 to the negative 1 power? Yep. Good. And so then what is 1 to the, to the negative 2? No, it wouldn't be negative because 1 over, let's change this to positive, 1 over 2 squared, what's that? It's still 1 over what's 2 squared? 4. So according to this, we switch the location of it. It's, if it's in the numerator, it goes to the denominator. So if it starts out in the denominator, where do you think it's going to go? What's the opposite of the denominator? Numerator. Numerator. So this is actually going to go to the top, which equals 4. So instead of being 1 fourth, it's going to equal whole number 4. Okay, so going back to what we learned earlier, 5 to the 5th over 5 to the 3rd. How do we simplify that? Yep, so it's just 5 to the 5 minus 3, which equals 5 squared. Okay, let's do now 2 to the 3rd over 2 to the 5th. We can expand them out or we can just subtract. 2 to the 3 minus 5. What is that going to give us when you do 3 minus 5? Negative 2. So what happens whenever you get a negative exponent? 1. 1 over, yeah, we're going to put it on the bottom to make it positive. 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. Okay, so what about 
We're gonna go to the next page. Three to the nine over three to the thirteen. Three, nine minus thirteen. And then what does that equal? Negative what? Four, yeah. So then how do I write this? Because I can't leave an, a negative x on it. How do I write it then? <coughs> One over three to the fourth. And if we want to, we can simplify that. What is three to the fourth power? Three times three is nine times three more, 27 times three more, huh? 81, good. Awesome. All right, let's look at last problem and then we'll get to our conclusion. Five squared times two cubed divided by ten cubed. I messed up. This should have been a two. Sorry. Six. 5 squared times 2 squared <coughs> divided by 10 cubed. You can do this any way you want to. So you can expand it or something. We're going to get an answer with a fraction of what? What does 5 squared mean? 5 squared times 5. Okay, so let's expand it out. What does 2 squared mean? Okay. What does 10 cubed mean? Okay. So then what can we do? 5 times 5 is what? 25, yeah. And four. And no, what and operation? Times yeah. So it's 25 times four. And then what's 10 times 10 to 10? Multiply. You multiply. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 1,000. What is a hundred divided by a thousand? You can uh, simplify common zeros. That just equals one ten. But there's actually more than one way to work this out. Do y'all see how we have a um, five times five times two times two times ten times ten times ten? <coughs> What about 5 times 2? What does that equal? And then 5 times 2 here is 10. So then what would simplify? It'd be like saying 10 times 10 over 10 times 10 times 10. And then look, simplify, which equals 1 10. Which one is easier for you to understand? Which one? The top or the bottom? The top. Okay. We could have also written this as there's two tens here, so two ten squared times ten cubed. Pay attention. 
Stop doing that. 10, 2 minus 3. Yes, I'm talking to you. 2 minus 3 is 10 to the negative 1, which equals 1 over 10. See all the different ways that we can solve this? You just have to figure out which one makes sense to you. Okay, so the key thing that we learned here is that anything to a negative exponent, like this is m to the negative a, <laughs> we can't keep it as a negative exponent, so we put it on bottom and change the sign. Then if we have m1 over m to the negative b, we can rewrite this as m to the b. So switch numerator. To denominator if there is a negative exponent. On top. And then the other would be switch denominator to numerator if there is a negative exponent on the bottom. All right, so you can go ahead and put this in your journal.